Uh, this application is very similar to the previous one. It's just a little bit complex. Uh, the structure of the definition is almost the same. We have a part that creates the solution. We have a part that calculates the fitness and we have the genetic algorithm engine. Uh, we'll take a closer look. Okay. Uh, this is the massing. They're like uh, three towers or uh, three uh, structures to simulate an urban setting. And they are modeled in the following way. Uh, there is a base for each mass and there is a, a crown. Uh, the properties that we change are the scale of the base and its position in the X and the Y and the same goes for the top part. Then in the same way they are lofted. Okay. In this case a roof is added. Uh, then it's all converted to mesh and it goes to the uh, ecotech part or the part that calculates uh, the fitness almost the same settings and this is uh, the mesh after the uh, analysis okay and the genetic algorithm engine it uh, fiddles around with the parameters that make the mass and it takes the total solar radiation into its fitness input. We'll just take a look how it works. And it does the same thing, random solutions, then slowly it works towards uh, the optimum or near optimum solution. I want to take a look at the uh, results. Close all that. Okay, uh, about the results, uh, the first one, this is obviously trying to reach the uh, minimum solar radiation. Okay, and I think <laughs> it did. Uh, this is trying to maximize the solar radiation. Sometimes you need to maximize uh, the solar radiation if you want to put to put uh, photovoltaic cells on the uh, facades or something. Uh, it, it's obvious from the colors, uh, and I think uh, it did something good here, which uh, it tried to open up these two towers in order for these two towers to get um, uh, some more radiation. And uh, when we tried the uh, three by three grid, it did the same. It's trying to do the same. Even here, it did it in the uh, x axis and in the y axis, uh, which I, th I think it's interesting because it gives you, because it gives you insights uh, where the uh, design should go if you want to uh, achieve maximum or minimum uh, solar radiation.